Hi, my name's Craig, and I'm one of the studio painters for Fallout Wasteland Warfare. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to paint one of the Securitron Enforcer models from the New Vegas expansion. More specifically in this case, we'll be painting everyone's favourite Securitron, Yes Man. I started by priming the model using matte black spray primer from the Army Painter. This will help us as we carry on through the first few stages as we will be overbrushing or dry brushing and the black undercoat is important to help us create some initial shading. The first stage will be to get a quick base coat across the model and for this we'll be using a technique called overbrushing. This is very similar to dry brushing but with more paint left on the brush. As you can see here I'm using a cheap makeup brush and these are ideal for dry brush like techniques and for the first stage we'll be base coating the model using scale 75 cancer brick blue. This does require two coats across the model to get a solid base coat. The next step will be to create a quick highlight using a one-to-one -one mix of the previous colour and scale 75 Mediterranean blue. This will be applied as a dry brush and only focusing on the higher part of each panel to create a quick transition between the highlight colour and the base coat. Once the previous steps dry, we'll be going back in with the final step for the blue, which will be a dry brush of pure Mediterranean blue, just applied to the edges and the raised areas of the model. After this, we'll start looking at the metallic areas. Here I'm using a smaller makeup brush, but a regular brush will probably do, to start dry brushing in some of those silver metallic areas using scale 75 black metal. There's no need to cover up all of the blue at this stage, as any showing through the black metal dry brush will just read as blue reflection from the main armour colour. After we've dry brushed all the metallics that we can, we still need to go in with a regular brush and pick out some of the metallic details using the same black metal colour as in the previous step. It's always a good idea to refer to box art or reference artwork if you want to know which parts need to be silver. After we've done that, we'll wash over the whole miniature using a one-to-one -one mix of Army Painter Strong Tone Wash and Water. We thin this down so that when we apply it over the whole miniature, it doesn't stain the surfaces too much, but does still settle in the recesses to give us some nice shading. As you can see, I've also let it pool in some areas to give the effect of built up dirt and oil stains. Once this is dry, I go back to the makeup brush and apply a very light dry brush of model colour silver to the very edges of the miniature to give the impression of some paint chipping away from the hard edges of the armour. Now for the fun part, making him look all rusty and weathered. I'm a big fan of the Vallejo Mecha weathering range of paints, and in this case we've used the Dark Rust Wash. It's applied quite liberally across the model, in areas where you'd expect to see some rust build up. If you apply too much, you can use some tissue or even your finger to remove some and keep playing with this until you're happy with the effect. Once that's dry, we can go back in with the silver dry brush and re-establish some of that paint chipping we did earlier. The next step is a bit of an optional one, picking out the buttons on the front panel using whatever reds, greens and blues you may have to hand. The 
final step on the main body of the miniature is to paint the entire tire using Vallejo model color black, ready to apply some final weathering later. Now onto the screen. We've undercoated the screen using a light grey, but we'll now go over that and base coat it again with Vallejo model colour sky grey. This is so that the colour matches if we need to go back and do some touch ups later once we've painted the design. Once that's dry, we need to paint inside the mouth using black, being careful to avoid the teeth if possible. The raised design on the sculpt helps us out a lot here. All we have to do is make sure we don't have too much paint on the brush and lightly move the side of the brush across the raised design, giving us a really quick and effective way of painting Yes Man's face. Finally for the screen, as mentioned earlier, just go back in and touch up any grey areas that we went over with the black. Now you're ready to glue the screen onto the model. Next up, paint the base however you want to match the rest of your army. And then the final step is to heavily thin down whatever colour you use to paint the base, in this case it's scale 75 Gobi Brown, and apply a heavy wash over the whole tyre to give the effect of dirt and dust getting into the tracks as he rolls around the Mojave. And there we go, Yes Man's complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make sure you keep an eye out for future painting content on the channel as we continue to explore the Mojave and the Commonwealth in future Fallout releases.